Some good news at the pump. The recent rise in gas prices appears to have slowed down this morning. National average is roughly the same as it was yesterday, 4.32 a gallon. News for Jack's reporter Joe McLean joins us live. And Joe, gas is a fraction of a percent cheaper than it was yesterday. Right, yeah, so very minimal uh, decrease in gas price. In, on average, in the state of Florida, it's actually seven-tenths of a penny per gallon cheaper today than it was yesterday. And those, even those minuscule changes really are noticed by drivers. Can't help but track it with, um, with the way every time you fill up, it's a, it's a higher price. David Davis drives a lot for work. Today, he's headed back to Georgia from a business trip, filling up his tank, which he says won't be full for long. This, this tank will be gone in about uh, five hours, so it's right. going to hurt. But uh... Filling up has certainly put a bigger strain on budgets in the past weeks, with Friday's average price breaking records across the country for both gas and diesel fuel. Here are the latest average prices released this morning from AAA. In the U.S., $4.32 is the average. In Florida, $4.34. And in the Northeast Florida area, gas is at 433. These prices are something that are constantly monitored by drivers, especially those drivers whose livelihood depends on their transportation. The fluctuating prices mean fluctuating operating costs and can prompt a switch in business practices. To uh, definitely um, monitor trips and uh, the fleet and, and how often they go and, and more necessary trips and not um, more um, uh, at will kind of stuff, but it's just been um, uh, something we've had to um, monitor. On the other side of the country in California, full fuel prices out there in that state typically run higher. Right now they're at $5.74. In fact, it's in such high demand out there that uh, police have been reporting that uh, thieves have been siphoning gas out of parked cars there. So definitely a tense situation uh, with regards to fuel prices in the U.S. right now. Reporting live, I'm Joe McLean, Channel 4, the local station.